Hello, I am Connie and this is Kayla and we are the Davises. Yes. What are we doing today? And today we are going to upcycle some flip flops. And if you don't know what upcycling is, it's, ba it's basically taking something that's old and you don't really use anymore and adding stuff to it. Or something cheap. It, yeah, or it something cheap from like a thrift store and upcycling it to make it more your style. So we're gonna be taking flip flops and we're gonna be um, making them different. We're gonna we'll make them super cute. So Keep let's, watching to let's do this. Yeah. All right, so we have some scissors. Fabric scissors. These scissors are really good for, uh, for they actually came uh, along with stamps, so they're stamp cutting scissors, so I, th I thought these would be really good for cutting the flip flops. And then of course we have our flip flops. These were really cheap flip flops we got from Michaels. We both picked out the uh, oh, laces, ready? our laces that we wanted to put on the flip flops. So we're gonna take off the plastic that holds the flip flop to the foot. Yes. And we're going to replace that with our favorite ribbon. By the way, everything that we are using in this, besides the scissors, um, came from Michaels. So it's like a really fun and easy thing to do and you can just go to Michaels and get everything in one go. Yes. So, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we also bought these little, they're actually not very little, they're big, wooden beads and I just, I like earthy things and it looked like a beachy, something very beachy, can you see it? Yeah. Beachy and so we got that going for us and so the next step will be we're going to take the, the flip flop and we're going to cut this, this back part on the front where your toes are if you can see it. So just take off all the little nubs. Yeah, we're going to keep all the nubs and we're gonna put them back on the flip-flop because those are gonna be what holds the lace in place. Yes. So let's do that. So I'm gonna take these scissors and just cut off my little nub. Cut off the back ones too. You can fold it so that it's easier to get to them because they're more pushed in than the front one is. And just save all your little nubbies to the side. And then just pull this part out and throw it to the side. All right. And do that with your other shoe too. Yep. I'm sure you could probably use any scissors to do this. It's just a cheap, flimsy plastic. Yeah. Okay, so now we have holes that you can see in each of the flip flops because the, the plugs are all pulled out. So what's the next step? The next step is to take your favorite lace and I've already kind of jumped ahead a little bit and I put one of the beads on, but I take the lace, make it whatever length that you think that you would like because we're gonna end up uh, lacing this up our leg a little bit. So they're a little bit longer than normal flip flops. They're kind of like a sandal at this point. And I just put the bead right down the center. So you have like a loop now and then you have the bead. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to take my nub, I'm going to poke the loop through the, the toe hole, and I use like a paintbrush, a little paintbrush, you could use whatever you think will work to poke the lace through the hole. So now I got the, the lace through the hole on my flip flop. Yay, yeah, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take the nub that I cut off and I'm gonna stick it in the loop. I'm gonna pull the loop tight back through there and it's stuck on. Now I've got this stuck on. Now I have to say, to do it this way, you're gonna end up with um, the material showing at the bottom of the foot. So you can ignore that because maybe you're only going to wear this for an evening or something and it's it's not a big deal to you. If you think you want to wear it longer term, I would probably advise uh, putting maybe some black tape over that so you really 
for one, you can protect the material, and for two, you won't see it because it'll be on the bottom of the shoe. And then you can move your bead if you want to so that it looks... It could be higher or lower on the foot, whatever yep. you want. And you could add more beads to it. You could do whatever decorations you want that go all the way up the top of the foot. We're just yes. doing one simple bead for this tutorial. Yep. Just but to make it easy. Everybody else can do whatever they want. Yeah. I'm just going to take these real quick. I'm going to lace, lace it, the ribbon through my bead. Now we need to work on the back holes. And it's just the same thing. You're going to basically lace, run the lace through, or the ribbon through the hole on each part of the sandal. And then once you make the loop, you're gonna put the plug in and then tighten it. And you have to adjust it until it fits your foot the way you want. Okay, so now we're working on the back of the flip flop. Once again, the sandal. I got, I got the one side with the nub in there. I just gotta finesse it a little bit and get it adjusted there so it's flat. And then we need to do the other side. Just so. poke, poke it through the hole. Poke it through that hole there. So you have the back. And then put the nub in the space the loop and then adjust it until until it fits what you want it takes a little finesse there a little bit it's on the back and then we got to make sure that it fits your foot still Lacing, lace it so that it goes any way you like. Either cross it in the front first or cross it in the back first. And then I just tie it off into a bow. Right in the back, tie it off into a bow. And, and then you just cut off any excess that you didn't want. The sandals. Yep, Yay. sandals slash flip flops, whatever style you decide to go with. Yay. All right. You got the nubs going in there. Yep. The plugs. Okay, so if you're planning on making flip flops and not sandals, then you can take your ribbon and put it behind the part that wraps around your foot and then stick the leftover through the hole and make a nice little knot. And that knot will go straight into the hole. And if it doesn't want to go down in the hole, then you can try sticking it down a little, giving it a little bit of help and using a paintbrush to shove it down in the hole. And then just cut off any excess, giving it a little bit of help kind of sticking out. Beautiful, darling. Our feet are beautiful. And that is our DIY on how to do cutesy sandals or flip flops. We hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time.